everyone, my name's Evan from the EOS Education team here at BoxLite, and today we'll learn a little bit about the CleverShare application. If you haven't used it before, CleverShare is an app that comes built into the Mimeo Pro 4 and the Pro Color 3 interactive flat panels from BoxLite, and this program allows you to share your screen from another device to the panel. So that could be a Windows laptop or a Mac, it could be a Chromebook or an iPad or even your smartphone. So whichever device you have or that your students have in the classroom, you can use CleverShare to put that content up in front of the whole class. So let's get started. You may have noticed here along the top edge of my screen a little square box that's here. If I tap on that, that is actually going to display our pin code for this panel. You can see that right now my pin code is ZWWWB6 and that is actually unique to this panel. So if you are trying to connect to this device, you obviously want to make sure that you're not accidentally connecting to your neighbor's room, for example, or the library down the hall. You keep the content on this screen, you'll use that pin code. Now, let's go ahead and open the main interface of the application here. There is a button to do that just here. You can also get to the CleverShare application quickly and easily from the app waffle down in the corner of your display. Now, once you've opened up the full interface, you'll see the pin code is bigger and more visible, so that's great. It's nice and easy to see. But we're going to also take a look at the menu here and look at some settings, because I want to make you aware of the best settings for the most secure and seamless interaction with this device. So let's open up settings here. Now, the first one here, you'll notice we have allow this device to be discovered. Now this is off by default, but you may want to turn it on. What that will do is it allows you to see from your laptop uh, your device by name. Instead of having to type in the pin code to connect every time, you will be able to just click on the name of your panel. Now I would suggest if you do turn that on, that then you scroll down to device name and change the device name to something that's recognizable. You can see right now, my device is called CleverShare1536. That's not a very descriptive name. And again, I want to make sure that I'm connecting to the right panel. I don't want to connect to my teacher down the hall. Let's go back up here to the top. I want to make sure that everyone has permission mode turned on. This is a very important setting. It is on by default. The reason that permission mode is so important is that it prompts a notification here on your screen when someone tries to share their screen with the panel. So that might be you as the teacher trying to share your screen, but it could also be a student. Maybe you have some students who would jump at the opportunity to share whatever content they want on screen at any time. And you probably would like to prevent that or at least limit their access to when you say it's okay. So I would suggest leaving permission mode on. So that's just a little bit about the settings. Now let's understand how this works from the computer perspective and see what's going on on a laptop in order to connect to our display. All right, in order to connect from a laptop to the panel, first you're going to need to launch CleverShare on your device. So here on my Windows laptop, I have a CleverShare icon here on my home screen. If you need to install CleverShare, you can go to clevertouch.com slash clevershare2g. That link is going to provide you with download buttons for Windows or Mac operating system, the iPhone or iPad, or Android and Chromebook. So whichever system you have, you'll have a ready-made link right there on that site for you to download and install. But once you do have the program installed, and you launch it on your computer, you will simply see a blank to enter your PIN code. Remember, that's the six-digit PIN that's displayed on your panel. So I'm going to go ahead and connect now by typing in my PIN code that I can see there on my panel. Now, it's important to note that you need to be on the same network as your panel for this to work. So if your school is set up to have student and teacher networks that are totally different, you'll just need to make sure that you're on the right network that your panel is also connected to. This also won't work, for example, if you are teaching from home. So once you are connected via CleverShare, you'll see two options on your screen. The first is Screen Share. Now, Screen Share is 
probably the most common use case. This is, for instance, when you want to put content from your computer up onto the panel. The other option is desktop sync. And desktop sync is maybe a little less common, but also very useful. In this case, it's going to take what is displayed on the panel and show it on your screen instead. So this is a really handy accessibility feature for students or a remote control feature for teachers, for example. Now, I'm going to demonstrate screen share here. So let me go ahead and start screen sharing. And you'll see two options pop up. The first is desktop. That is going to mirror whatever is on your computer up to the panel. Now, if you would prefer to do some more private activities, like maybe updating students' grades or checking your email, maybe choose Extend Screen instead. So it's going to appear as a second monitor instead of just duplicating everything on your own screen. You also have options down below for sharing a particular window. Now, just one window at a time is a great way to limit what students are able to see on the panel while also keeping the rest of your activities uh, private on your teacher laptop. For now, I'm just going to share my entire desktop and go ahead and choose the mirror button down below. Now you'll see that it's asking me to accept a request at the receiver. Now this just means that on the panel it has opened up a notification that's asking if it's okay if I connect to the panel. This is that security setting that I recommended that you keep on so you must approve every connection that the panel receives. All right, so now that I've approved my mirroring request on the panel screen, I am able to display any content from my computer up to the panel. So for example, I can open up my browser here and go over to a Google Slides lesson. And you can see that that's reflected instantly on the screen as well. Now, I don't have to use my keyboard and mouse on the computer to control my lessons. If I'd rather be up here in the front of the class at the panel, I can actually use the touch screen to do just about everything very conveniently. So for example, I can switch slides here just with a quick tap. I can scroll with the scroll bar here. I can even enter text and do right clicks. So in order to enter text, I'll just click on a text field here and then use this little keyboard button right down here in the bottom corner of my panel to pull up a touchscreen keyboard in Windows. If I close that, I'll show you how to do a right click as well. All you have to do is tap and hold on the panel and the touchscreen will recognize that as a right click. So it just takes a couple seconds to pull up that right click menu and you should be ready to go. Now when you're done with your screen sharing session and you want to disconnect, you can do that from your computer as you saw or you can do it directly from the panel screen. This is very handy, for example, when you have students that are connected to the panel and you'd like to remove their access. So up here at the top, let's open up our CleverShare menu and go into the main interface. And you'll notice a little devices menu right down here near the bottom. That's going to show you the list of all the devices that are currently connected to my screen. So here I have my laptop and my iPad that are both connected and you'll see some icons here on the side. Then this last one here, of course, is the disconnection option. So it can either look like a power switch or a breaking chain link here. Once I press the power switch, my computer has stopped screen sharing. I can disconnect it entirely by breaking that chain link there with that red icon. And now my laptop is no longer connected. You can see a little pop-up note and my screen is ready to be used by the next screen sharing user. So hopefully that gave you a brief idea of what CleverShare is able to do in the classroom, walk you through some options so you can set this up however best works for you. Remember those best practices about leaving the security settings on so your students can only share what you want when you want and you will remain in control. So if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with Boxlight. Uh, customer care at boxlight.com is always happy to receive questions and We'll be seeing you next time for more videos on using these interactive flat panels in your classroom. Thanks.